Cat Williams just finished up his latest comedy special, which aired live on Netflix, and he unleashed on Lizzo, Oprah, and Diddy. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. Cat Williams is back at it. After that Shannon Sharp interview, everybody's just waiting for what Cat's going to say, what celebrities going to expose, and we have some clips. And I added these a little bit, so if you want to watch the special, go watch Netflix. But I wanted to report on three of the most newsworthy moments of the special that we do have to play, uh, you know, edit and offer our commentary to. Otherwise, it's just ripping the content, guys. This is called fair use when we comment and give it to you. But I got three. Uh, I, well, I want to give you this intro to set the tone. Then I got three sections. I wanted to give you little quick bits to show you the com the, the I thought the funniest bits and the most relevant is the celebrity uh, truth as possible. Here's Kat setting up the whole special, which was called Woke Folk. I tried to be incognito, but thanks to Shannon Sharp's loud mouth pass, the gig is up. Everybody knows I'll tell, but I don't do no snitching. Y'all know my job. In my spare time, I infiltrate the Illuminati. <laughs> Look for their secrets. Run back, tell y'all. They'll kill me if they could, but I'm too fast, and the Lord keep blessing me. He's too, he is too fast, but that's pretty much what he's Help. been doing. He's out there, and he did warn everybody that this would be the year, 2024 would be the year of truth. So here we go. Let's get to the celebrities in question. I don't give a who you is. It's a line. And if you cross it, that's your motherfucking ass. They came after Lizzo, and she is unproblematic. They don't give a fuck. It's a line. You can be fat. And you can be black. You can't be no fat black bitch. Now that's where they draw the line. Too much. You supposed to be happy and jolly, bitch. Where's your flute? <laughs> Where's your flute? Uh, get in that flute, Lizzo. That's what we want you to be, jolly flute player. Uh, but there it is. As he's sort of talking about some of these sections, exactly. There are lines. There is accountability. I'm telling you, you can do whatever you want to do. But it's still consequences. Yep. Hollywood is finding that out right now. There's a drug problem in Hollywood. They can't even tell you about it. It's whooping them so mother bad. But y'all know I'll tell. <laughs> that mother... Ozempic is whooping Hollywood's ass. Do you hear me? It is. That Ozempic is too f***ed up and it's too strong. <laughs> they know it's too strong. They said Oprah took so much that Gail lost 12 pounds. <laughs> Do you understand what I said? People are shitting themselves to <laughs> death. It's too strong. It is. It's everybody's on it. it. And not enough people are talking about the effects of it and how crazy it's getting out there. He's right. He's totally right. It was a good joke. He did a couple other jokes about it, but that was my favorite uh, pulling out Oprah and <laughs> so much that Oprah used so much Gail lost 10. All right. But now let's get, let's get to the Diddy of it all. All right. So he did mention Diddy. Here is the clip in question. Then we're going to talk about uh, what else was there. And we got some reactions that I don't want you to miss. But without further ado, get ready. Here's the ditty. It's a good one. It's bad news sometimes, but it'd be good news too. For the first time in history, you can love whoever the fuck you want to love with no shame and no judgment. It shouldn't be nobody left in the closet at all. Come on. For the first time in history, you just got to claim your category. And they got a category for everybody. Hey, you Ginger. like pots and pans? You could be a pansexual. <laughs> Such a everybody joke. laughing but the white people. That's not right, cat. <laughs> you know better than that. Take that picture down. I shouldn't have. Pansexual don't have nothing to do with 
pots and pans or crock pots or sizzling fajitas or none of that shit. I looked no. it up. Pansexual mean you fuck. Whatever you looking at, <laughs> that means you could be like P. Diddy. You could just go in the party with your eyes closed. Take that, take that, take that, take that. There are no wrong answers. That was it. I mean, he came after him. Uh, he didn't come after him as hard as uh, Kendrick Lamar just came after Drake. And we'll talk about that one. I'm waiting for more of the uh, responses. But uh, that was it. That was it. Now, look, honestly, for me, the special uh, wasn't my favorite one of his. I'll be honest. Even these jokes, they were they were they were fun. But overall, I, I actually didn't laugh as much as I hoped to be. And that was kind of the consensus online as I'm going through some of the reactions, which I wanted to end on here and show you. Cat Williams special was mid, which means like middle of the road. Uh, I thought uh, I love Cat Williams. This cat special is basically background noise. So I fell asleep. Meh laughed once or twice. Then Cat Williams said she should get reparations. Everyone gets N word pass. The whole thing was pretty subpar, man. I was wanting that last one to be so much funnier than it was. I was even forced laughing at first, but it just fell flat, flat, abnormally stay safe, unpolished for him. There were setups for jokes that never materialized me struggling through Cat Williams special. After the black woman saved us from slavery joke and the blatant Harriet Tubman snub for the sake of comedy. Uh, yeah, most 6.5 on the Keith Lee scale. Uh, cold open was a total. Oh, but uh, everybody, thank you, Kat were, and Megan the Stallion. Uh, my favorite. So, uh, yeah, uh, watching the cat show. I really loved Kat and his funny uncensored comedy with a message. So uh, there was a uh, there was a lot. They did talk about Jamie Foxx's mystery illness. He did do a shot out at Wayne Brady, uh, but uh, yeah, some good reactions. There are some laughing, but I've seen more of these, which echo my feeling. Eh, wasn't feeling that Cat Williams much. Haven't felt this few stand-ups. So wasn't expecting much. I do like that he touched on the racism economy, though, but it was good background noise. Uh, so there it is. Got got him one ten minutes in. I'm already crying. So there, you know, some people did. It's mid. Actually, it's boring. I uh, expected better from this Cat Williams special. Uh, Cat Williams, the goat, was very mild. I'm ready for more disses, though. So Cat Williams is like how we used to sit down and actually watch stand-ups. It's really good. I love he doesn't shine away from current events and how the, he flips it and funny. I'm happy he didn't go into the gossip set. He could have gone more into gossip set. I mean, the problem is uh, Def, he definitely left them jokes backstage. I see as uh, blah, 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 and who was right. Uh, anyway, I, I feel like Kendrick Lamar... And Drake were more on fire tonight and this weekend than Cat was. That Cat Williams special was ass. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, there it is. So, I look, I think that the Shannon Sharp special was way better than this, and I was hoping for a little bit more. Uh, overall, I do respect Cat, uh, and good for him having this live comedy special. It, just, it didn't feel live. He had this opportunity coming off of these huge diss tracks with Drake, and he could have at least opened or done something to acknowledge it and like make it like start really on fire and be like, damn, like he could have probably done something quick and he didn't. And that was a little bit of a problem because it didn't feel live, like to have actual pop culture stuff happening in the moment that he could have really addressed or just poked fun at would have really, I think added a little bit of an edge to it. And overall it didn't feel like, I don't know. I've def look, I've, there are some hilarious cat Williams. My God, I go back to tink tink uh, every day. I'm hustling. Like, OG Cat Williams is uh, unreal. I, the latest specials, though, they haven't been as great for me. The Shannon Sharp special is better. But what do you guys think? Are you a fan? Did you like those clips? Could he have gone harder on Diddy? Yes. Uh, I want to hear what you guys think down below. Make sure if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell for all alerts as well. Smash that thumbs up and let us know what you think. Are you going to watch the full special? Tell us down below. You can catch it over on Netflix. Make sure you go check them out and stay tuned for more here on Popcorn Planet.